from the hygienic chuckle dairies. What do you mean, chuckle dairies? We got it from the cash and carry. Advertising, Barry. You've got to exaggerate a bit. Paul is a great worker. He's always hard at it. Morning, noon or night. Never stops. What are you on about? Just exaggerating a bit. Look, I'm in charge of advertising. Without me, there wouldn't be any customers. We haven't got any customers. How? Soon we'll have. Stop the back. <laughs> you watch. <laughs> This'll get them running, Barry. Ooh, quick, go on, fast as you can, right off. Oh dear. Hey, there's some customers there, look. What's his game? Of all the cheek. Oh. They were our customers, they were. Dig it! You stop messing about. Yeah. Can't you see we've got a crisis on our hands? I just had one on my head. We're going to have to get back on the bike and ride as fast as we can. Make sure we get to the customers first. We'll never outrun that van on this thing. Well, have you got any better ideas? I have, actually. See? This is much better. This way we don't have to chase the customers. They come to us. Yes. Good job I thought of it, eh? Yes, but I... Da, 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 da. Yes, but... Da, 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 da. But what if I... Da, 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 da. Chop nuts. Same to you. Suffice to say, we're doing a roaring trade. And we'll do even better as the day finishes. Agreed? Agreed. It's him again. Oi, what do you think you're doing here? Ah, I, Giovanni Slacchino, sell the ices. The finest in all Napoli. Yes, but we're not in Napoli, we're in Rotherham. And we've got the licence to sell here. So are you going to move on, or do we call the man from the council? Go ahead, see if I care. In fact, I do it for you. What's going on here? That was quick. He's trying to take over our spot. We've told him we've got a licence, but he just won't listen. I see. Mm. We can't both sell here. It's absolutely ridiculous. Tell you what, I happen to know where there's an even better place. Beautiful spot, tourists all year round. You'll make a fortune. Sounds good to me. Get your cart, I'll show you where it is. <laughs> right. Come on. Uh, Oi! If there's a better place, I want to know about it. Don't worry. I wouldn't let my brother down, would I? You see, when I said a beautiful place, what I meant was a horrible place. Got it in one. <laughs> Paul. What? I don't think this place is all it's cracked up to be. You've got to give it time. Do you think many people go on holiday to a power station? Don't see why not. They go to Morecambe, don't they? I think we're wasting our time. Relax. I'm sure people will turn up soon. I think we're wasting our time. Let's go and find somewhere else. What if that Slackino bloke turns up again? Well, if he does, we'll fight fire with fire. Won't that melt the ice cream? I knew it. So what now? Simple economics. How much are you charging for his cornies? £1.50. Right. <laughs> Come and get your cornets. One pound roll up. Ooh. Hey, <laughs> don't get ripped off. Get your one pound cornets here. It's working. <laughs> Simple economics, Barry. Genuine Italiano Aisha da Crema. Now Ooh. only 80p. Oh, <laughs> cornets, only 70p. Come and get your 70p cornets, ladies and gents. Get your 60p cornet here. Cornet's 50p. Come and get 50p cornet. 40p cornet here. 30. 20. Cornets. Come and get your 10p ones. Hey, we've won. He's shutting up shop. <laughs> hey, we must have sold nearly 200. Yes, and we got rid of him. That's the main thing. Oh, oh hello. Could I have five tubs of ice cream, please? Certainly, sir. Barry? Ooh. You obviously like your ice cream, sir? Oh, very much so. And may I say you've come to the right place, sir? Not going to that place over there. He's a right crook, him. Get away. Yes, he stole all our customers. And inside that van, it's absolutely filthy. No. Yes. He never washes his hands. And what he does with those scoops, four, doesn't bear thinking about. Thank you for telling me. Mm. Here we are, sir. I'll just work out the cost. Oh, I've already done that. Based on 10 people ice cream, 20 scoops per tub, 
Five tubs, that's ten pounds. <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, dear. Steady. Well, that's it. He's cleaned us out. How much did we make today? Thirty-eight pounds. And how much did the stuff cost us? Three hundred and sixty-four pounds, thirteen pence. So much for simple economics. Yeah, but we got rid of him. That's the main thing. I hope you've learned a lesson. Oh, I have. And it's a very good lesson. If I want any more cheaper than ice and a creamer, I come to you again. What? I won't have to buy any more ice and a creamer for a long time. <laughs> Roll up and get your ice cream cones. Only one pound fifty. No. Roll up to Giovanni Slacchino. Ah, he never sell out of ice and a creamer. And neither do we. Bunny, get down the cash and carry. Oi, you! Hello. I hope you're not thinking of catching a bus. That was the plan. Sorry, the council have a very strict policy. No food or drink on our buses. You'll have to walk. Hey, it's two miles. Well, I can't help that, can I? Come on. Off you go. Ooh. <laughs> 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 Come and get your soon-to-be-ear ice creams. Not again. At last. What's all the noise? Just drumming up tray. Not been a total success, has it? We'll soon pull them in. What happened there? It's melted. I can see that. How did that happen? Some councillor turned up and told me I couldn't take food on the bus. Well, I'm all a petty minded. Do you know, if he turned up here now, I'd give him a piece of my mind. Hello. Fancy ice cream? You can't sell that. It's all melted. And whose fault is that? Rules is rules. I've got a complaint. Well, you do look peaky. Why don't you lay down? About the noise. Turn that thing off. It's him as well. I'll talk to him now, but meantime, if I have any more trouble from you, you're finished. I'm glad you gave him a piece of your mind. Uh, it's a good job he left then. He's nothing more than a jumped-up little councillor. Uh, or so I've been told. Actually, I think he's quite a nice chap. Hello. <laughs> Better get some more ice cream. I can't understand it. We've restocked. Got plenty of ice cream, and he's still got all the business. With some other vendors, you don't get the Italiano di Ice de Crema. All you get is the melted sludge. Trouble is, he's got a good gimmick, him being Italian and all. Oh, like that stupid box of. Uh, I, I mean, uh, Mamma Mia. Uh, be with you in un momento. And no slacking. Is that Italian? I don't know. But he didn't have an Italian accent when he conned us out of all that ice cream, did he? I think we should find out once and for all. Come on, ladies and gentlemen, get your Italiano ices here. Mamma mia, Paolo. A fellow Italiano serving a de-ice creamers. Magnifico. Do you have only the best Italiano ice cream, I know? Eh? What? Eh? Oh, oh, hi. Eh, si. So, you speak an Italiano too. Excellente. Che gelati Italiani avete? Eh... Nearly 20 past. No, no, gelate, gelate. What ice creams? Oh, uh, uh, cornets, choc ices, lollies. Ah, avete in 99 con la salsa del lampone? No, I'm sorry, I'm closing now. Not yet, Italiani. What? You're not Italian. No, and neither is ice cream. Look at that. Made in Greensborough, England. Ha! It's you! Yeah. Chocolate ices, folks. We don't deceive our customers. Nope, and we don't make exaggerated claims about our ice cream either. We don't need to. Our ice creams are the best in the world. <laughs> Here, I think I'll have one. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Margarine. I knew he was up to no good. Let's go and let his tyres down. No, wait. 
Cast your mind back. He was talking to us when this happened. Yeah, right. That means somebody else must have done it. Precisely. Yeah, but who? So, we're out of ice cream again. This is costing us a fortune. Mm. What's this? I know. We could make our own. That'd be much cheaper. But we haven't got an ice cream maker. Yeah, but I know where we can get one. Brilliant. That's a great idea. <laughs> I wish to withdraw my previous comment. Why? When you said you were going to get an ice cream maker, this is not what I had in mind. It's ideal. Look. The milk comes along this pipe into here, where it's frozen and churned, and then it comes out through my dispensation module here. What? There. Not only is it perfectly fresh, but there's an endless supply. Come and get your ice cream cones. Straight from the cow to the cone. The well, sad thing is, do you think you're joking? Can I help you? Uh, no, no, just stretching my legs. Well, can you go and stretch them over there? Oh, good idea. Thank you. Hey, Paul, I'm sure he's up to something. Nonsense. He knows when he's beaten. Would you stop serving, please? Why, well, what's wrong now? Nothing to worry about, just a random hygiene inspection. Ah, uh, well, we've nothing to worry about there. The cart's spotless. It's not the cart I'm worried about. It's the cow. <laughs> What was that? Uh, what was what? I didn't hear anything, did you, Barry? No. I distinctly heard a moo. Ah, oh, that noise. It's the radio. I'll turn it off. Radio? Yes, it was the, um... Nine o'clock moos. What? what? It's for farmers. So, is everything all right? <laughs> Where does this pipe lead to? Uh, that's a good question, that. Well, what about a good answer? It just goes to the drains. Nothing to get excited about. <laughs> That's it. You're finished. I'll see you in Never Sell Ice Cream again. Hang on. It wasn't our fault. No, he's right, Paul. Hey? And I'd like you to accept this ice lolly as a token of our forgiveness. Hey, don't overdo it. I must admit, I'm partial to an ice lolly. I know. I found this one earlier when you tried to sabotage our ice cream. What? Just as I thought. The bite marks match perfectly. Hey, give me that. No, I'm taking these down the town hall. I'm sure they'd be very interested. All right. I'll admit everything. I was trying to give my brother an unfair advantage. Quiet! Just a minute. They were in this together. Not much gets past you, Paul. No, it doesn't. We'll leave you in peace. Come on. Oh, well. All's well that ends well. I don't know about you, but I've gone off ice cream. Me too. I'll tell you what, a new venture. We could have a mobile burger bar. Can you imagine it? Chuckle burgers. Yeah, we can have big chuckles. Yeah. Chuckle burger with cheese. It could work. All we need is some ingredients. <laughs> So we're there. Now, I thought you were going to give a piece of your mind, Paul. Benji, by the way, Benji, what's with that? No, we don't sell any clothes. <laughs> I had to walk back. It's not funny, don't laugh. It is. <laughs> <laughs>